Hello everyone, Julia Sheehan here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Tonight I'd like to do two quick cards, they're fairly quick cards, on using this uh, Royal Peacock stamp set again. Uh, they're very different to the cards I did last week, although one of them is using the same colours. However, the second card is a large contrast to the, uh, the first card. Now I'll be using this stamp set and it's dies and I also will be using this lovely embossing folder, beads and baubles and the things that we're going to need is a piece of Pacific Point cardstock measuring 5 and 7 8 by 8 and a quarter, a piece of Granny Apple Green 3 and 15 16 by 5 and 11 16, a piece of gold foil which I'll move because it makes that funny thing five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches and a piece of whisper white cardstock which I have floating around here somewhere uh, three and nine sixteenths by five and a quarter now the reason they're odd measurements a bit all over the place is because I just wanted to give a slightly larger border on this card so that the colors would be reflected from the peacock as well Okay, the other things we'll need are embossing powder and our um, stamp pads in Pacific Point in Granny Apple Green. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to stamp the peacock. So I'm using the Thick Whisper White. I just really like uh, doing um, my work on the thick cardstock. I just like the feel of it. So I think it's one of those personal things that you either... You know you like something like that or you don't so that's my thing <laughs> I just feel like it's got more substance to it or something it probably makes no difference but I, I really like it now I'm just using my Versamark ink on here and just getting a, a good covering of this stamp okay oh nearly forgot it good old embossing buddy Okay, so we'll just pop this on here and give it a good press down. This is such a beautiful stamp. This peacock is stunning. When I first saw it in the catalogue, I thought, mm, what can you do with that? You know, like. I'm actually surprised at how much and how many things I've thought of to, to do with it now. So it is um, it is a beautiful set to get. I'm so glad I did. I, I really tossed up about it. And I got all the, um, the bits and pieces that went with it as well. So... It was good, good value. Now I've got a tiny bit, even with the embossing buddy. There's still a little, little bit on there. I'll just get that off. Most of this will get, it will disappear anyway because it will be um, cut out with the die. There we go. So I'll just a little bit more on there, and we'll get rid of that. Now, just a little bit of noise. This is a beautiful one to watch change too. I don't know if you can see that, but... Really lovely. How beautiful is that? Just stunning. And so intricate. So anyway, when you've done that, you can either 
cut it out now or you can color it now I've already cut one out and done it because I actually messed up the video earlier and so I kind of uh, <laughs> ended up having it done which at this point I'm not sure where I put uh, there it is okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you briefly on here what I did to color it now I'm using the Pacific Point and the Granny Apple Green and I've got a little bit in my lid there and I'm using my Aqua Pen just want a little bit of water to it and the main body of the peacock I will be doing in Pacific Point and just putting it on here because well clearly the peacocks main part of their body is that beautiful iridescent blue and I just think that this blue is probably the closest we have to that so I'm just going to do that on there whoops a little bit out of the line there but don't worry about it this is only one I'm doing just to give you an idea of what I'm doing so that can be cut out later and then I'm just putting some of the blue in it in just random areas of this lower part my cat's running around like a crazy thing at the moment He's gone completely nuts out there. I can hear all sorts of things happening. Okay. And so, yeah, we just keep going through that and putting all the blue there. And then the other place you put the blue is in the centre of the eye that's on the end of the feathers of this peacock. So... You can see that. See where the, the eye is on the peacock feathers? Do that. And then I'll just get some of this off here. It doesn't matter if you mix a little bit of the blue and green together because it makes quite a nice colour. And then do some of these green, the granny apple green. And that again, just randomly wherever you want to and with that granny apple green there's an, another little section around that eye so just use the granny apple green in there and you can see it I think you can see it fairly well there so you've got the granny apple green around that Pacific point and then just continue keeping doing the peacock now I have done this part here in the blue even though on a peacock it's generally white but I did do it the blue just because I thought it just picked up the color nicely so then you end up with that and it's been cut out and its tail feathers have been done and that one's ready so I'm going to pretty much put this together. The layer of Whisper White that's on this card, I did in this beads and baubles embossing folder. And it turns out like this. It's really lovely. So you just pop that in there. And it's a really good one to line up because you've got these straight lines going down in between here anyway and across the top of your each of those sort of eyes that match the the ones on the peacock so it's really nice to be able to line that up well so when you've got that I shouldn't have shut these should I I need them again okay and I'm just going to use my sponge daubers a bit like I did last week and again not too heavy just randomly on the card 
and the the pattern on this um, embossing folder just picks it up beautifully it doesn't matter where you put it just your choice then you can go for the blue Pacific point blend them together there and on the edges of the, what you've already done I press a little harder in some places than others just to give it a little bit of light and shade and then bring a little bit in there into that green see how it picked the the two blend and give you another shade of that green it's really nice oh it doesn't help that i'm sticking it in the green one either but you get my meaning there we are you can just do that as heavy or as light as you like I am um, I'm doing this one darker than the one I did previously which I will show you shortly I think I've got to do that at the beginning but never mind just blend that into each one a little bit so that you overlap your green in there and then if you want to add a little bit more anywhere of the green just to see like that you'll get a slightly different shade I think that's quite good so I'll leave it at that for the moment now it's a matter of just constructing your card really um, you can stamp as well your sentiment and the sentiment I'm using is you are incredible and I'm going to emboss that as well and I just did it on here just very quickly did it and then again with your gold embossing powder just give that a quick bit of that I don't know if you actually saw me do that I think I pulled it down more so I could see it than you could it. and then we're just going to heat that up and the reason I, I stamp this first anyway is because I'm going to cut it out with the layering circle framelits and the one I'm using is very close to the edge and it's the second one from the center and it fits it but it's exact as you can see there it fits exactly in the center so you end up with that so it's it's quite a nice fit and then all I did was I cut out the second from the center in the scalloped ones so that I could layer it on that and that's it that's everything for this card so we'll put it together so our base card stock And then the Granny Apple Green. Goes on next. Just giving it that slightly bigger border than I usually do. But I just, I really like all the colours standing out. And then I decided to put some gold in it to also pick up the gold on the peacock. I mean, you don't have to. You could just use your gold embossing powder and leave this layer off. It wouldn't matter. 
and that goes on there. Now, I didn't cut the center out of it this time, and I really could have. I, there's no need for that to be there, and you save your gold cardstock that way. But I didn't think of it tonight. I'm usually a little bit more thrifty than that. <laughs> Okay, and then this one just goes on top of that. You can see how quickly and easily this card comes together. Here we go, that's on there. Then the peacock. I'll just have a look at where I'm going to put those. Okay, so I'll put some glue on the back of this. I have to order some more glue this week. sits nicely on there. I think I can hear faint, faint thunder in the distance. We haven't had any rain for so long. It would be so nice to have it. And I'm going to pop the peacock up on dimensionals. And on there. Just a few around the body. I'd probably use more than I should, but um, I just like it to be really secure. I would hate to give a card to someone and then, you know, like find out that it fell apart on them or something. I'd feel really bad, so I always probably overkill it, but it's just what I do. Okay, come on off. The next card will go together very, very quickly. I've done just about everything for it, but I just wanted to show you a variation and the fact that, you know, you can do something with different colours. It doesn't have to be the peacock colours. You could use whatever colour you want. I thought, you know... Um, berry burst or you know doing something rich in regal colors would look really nice but I'm going to pop that about there that sits nicely there and then a couple of dimensionals under here I'll probably put three under this one like that and the card is pretty much finished the only thing I haven't done which I will show you on the other card just make sure that's reasonably straight okay so that's what it looks like uh, this is one that I did before slightly lighter background and just for a little bit of variation I did it in purple in the gorgeous grape and the highland heather just because I wanted to <laughs> so that gives you an idea of, of the differences you can do with it. But I, I honestly think that stands out really nicely. Now the other card I decided to do is black. And I used a regular card base. And it is five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter. Then I used a sheet of black cardstock exactly the same size as the front of this card and also a piece of the foil this but in silver and that is three and an eighth of an inch by five inches and some smoky slate which is four and thirteen sixteenths by two and fifteen sixteenths and a piece of basic black two and three quarters of an inch by four and ten sixteenths of an inch all of this will be um, written up underneath anyway but they're all the colors now what I did is I used this die and I cut out the peacock in thick whisper white and I've already done that so it's there now, I, I was talking um, 
I think on my Facebook channel and I used to teach two girls that had a pure white peacock. It was an albino peacock. It was the most stunning animal, especially when its fan or, you know, its tail was spread out. It looked incredible. There wasn't a spherical colour on it except for the white. So anyway, what I did with the card, the card as the base is I the piece that I had cut exactly the same size I put through the embossing folder and it is going to go directly on top of there and cover the entire front of that card so we'll just quickly do that this is such a quick and easy card and if you know like a, um, a male person who you know loves birds and things then they probably love to get a card like this I mean I sent my dad a Father's Day card with flowers on it because he is the most avid gardener and he loves magnolias so I used that um, good morning magnolia stamp set for his and a few other bits and pieces but that was the general thing then with your silver foil, which is probably going to make all sorts of funny things, we're going to put the smoky slate on top of that. There we go. My glue's getting very low. I have to give it a good shake. And again, these measurements are just a little bit different because I've given a slightly bigger border around all of this as well. Okay, just a little bit of glue there, I'll get that off after. Okay, and then on top of that is the smaller piece of the basic black. Get this glue down if I can. probably going to rain because I put the washing out tonight. <laughs> there we go. That goes on there. And then I'm going to just sit the peacock there. Now I'm going to put the embossing buddy on here and I can get that off after that powdery look to it so that's fine. And I'm just putting on here, you did it. That's all that's going to go on here. So it's like a con congratulations card, which would be written on the inside. You know, maybe they've passed a degree or, or whatever, you know, or done something spectacular with a garden or who knows. So I'm just using my Versamark and I'm going to pop that on there. Hoping that it's straight. Probably not entirely straight, but never mind. I probably should have done this before I attached it to the card, but it's the way it goes. <laughs> and then I'm using white embossing powder. This is a little paintbrush. just a little bit oh, well that was clever I think I messed that up well and truly now I may have to put another one on here just a moment okay I just very quickly did up another one I've done it off so I'm just going to um, heat it before I stick it down. 
And this is a good example of if something goes wrong, you find a way to fix it. And sometimes things do go wrong. And so that's on there now. So that's fine. And I'm just going to stick it on top of the one that I messed up. It won't matter. It'll just lift it up a little bit and that'll be fine. No one's going to know whether I meant to do that or not. I've cut it exactly the same size. So... You know, someone might think, oh, they've just built that up a bit, or they may not even notice. So, okay, just make sure that you cover it over properly and that it all lines up. There we go, and it's on there. And then all I did was to glue the peacock down, very much like last week, if you just go across it just gently like that down these areas you'll get enough glue on it to actually stick it down and it'll be fine because going round it would be quite tedious and then it doesn't make it a quick card and this will stick down really well Okay, and then we're just going to put this beautiful white peacock onto here. I'm just going to poke out that little hole that didn't come out. Just missed that one. Let's see if I can get it off. There we go. And then glue it down. There we are. That goes on there. Some dimensionals on the back. I mean, you can see how absolutely quick and easy this card is because you're only using a die cut and it's stunning on the black. So and here's my overkill, I'm putting it in the middle as well. That thunder's getting closer, so you never know, we may get a, a drop of rain, which would be very nice. I should probably go out and check if my washing's dry. <laughs> it's nearly midnight here, so... Get all these dimensionals off here. Okay, just fix that embossing powder up after two. And then it's just a matter of centering it on your card. Bring it up a bit, center it on your card. And that's it, there's your, that very quick and easy card. And I actually think that looks stunning in the black and white and grey and silver there. So they're my two cards for tonight. This beautiful peacock done in two different ways, two different, very different colours, but um, a really stunning effect, I think, with them both. Anyway, everyone, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to watch some more of what I do, please click on the subscribe button and um, leave a comment. If there's anything you'd like me to do, please let me know. And a thumbs up would be great. And if you're looking for any of these products or you think that you would like to um, purchase any of these things and you're living in Australia, it, there will be a link below to my online store too and you'll be able to go in there and have a browse around and have a look what's available. But check out this bundle of things that goes with the this particular stamp set because 
it, it is really beautiful there's some beautiful rhinestones and various different things that you can use on these cards as well uh, anyway everyone have a wonderful week stay safe and i'll be back again next week thanks for watching bye for now